The family of Hilberto Sutz is seeking justice in what has now been classified as murder. The post-mortem was conducted yesterday and the family received the results earlier today. Reporter Hippolyto Novello has the story. You said that it's a murder. Saturino Sutz is the father of Hilberto Sutz, the 18-year-old Keycocker resident that reportedly died in police custody and at the hands of two police officers of the island. Yesterday, after the riot staged by angry residents in front of the local clinic, the Belize Police Department issued an official release. In it, it said that while in police custody, Sutz, quote, started complaining of chest pain and difficulty breathing and subsequently died unexpectedly, end of quote. The post-mortem examination was conducted yesterday, and this morning, Saturino received the results. Pathologist Dr. Mara Estradaban ruled that the 18-year-old died of vascular shock due to massive heart thrombosis due to acute post-traumatic cerebral edema. In other words, the police officers beat him so bad, he stopped breathing. He did not just die unexpectedly. Because all in his skull, all he got a trauma. What they call trauma is like um, blood clog up in the head. Plus they find a, a bunch of um, a bunch of, um, hard blood in his stomach and that will kill him. And uh, you get hard knock in the head, that's why you get a trauma and plus a lot of uh, heat in his body. Sats had been detained on Monday morning as a suspect for a robbery that occurred on Sunday night. But witnesses say that Sats was not on the island at the time of the robbery. His father says that Sats' life had been threatened before by the same police officer who is now being accused of committing the murder. He's the one who told me that he will kill my son. And he did it? He did it. That's why I, 100% yesterday, I guarantee that he killed my son. That's why I, it's not a maybe or, or, or the sudden say. I guarantee, I have 100% guarantee that he's the one who killed my son. And see now, we get the, the improve that my son never die by, 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 by um, normal death. Do you know whether or not he died at the police station or at the clinic? He died at, at the police station. Because when I went and when they told me my son died, the doctor told me plain and straight, when they brought, the police brought your son, I already died. What happened to the other two young individuals that were detained by police? I think they're still arrested because the next one, was really, I heard that, I don't know if how true is it, but I heard like he's bleeding inside. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why they cannot take to the, to the medic at least for, at least assist the boy. Because when you are bleeding inside, you will die, you know? So. Uh, do you know whether or not they saw police officers beating your son in the police station? They heard it. They heard that when my son is bawling, because he's the guy, Manuel. Was, was 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 right there between the two 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 um, cell because he's handcuffed on a chair and he here when my son the last ball my son do. But will justice be served or will it be swept under the rug? Tell me today they will they will deal with the matter. No matter if the police or what, they will deal with it. How can you assure the public that this will be a thorough investigation with any without any tainted fingers um, grasping onto it? Well, definitely I have not heard or come across that kind of information. Um, but our investigations um, are usually thorough and complete and um, we leave no stone unturned and there's no one above the law. And whatever the information or wherever the chips fall, um, we will be dealing with that. Are you confident that justice will prevail in this matter? Have to because they, they, they kill my son. They're the one kill my son. Because when I leave, my, when they, get, uh, they catch my, arrest my son, my son is with me. They drag my son out of my golf cart. I run taxi. Uh, I work hard for my picnic. To ensure his justice, Sats plans to take legal action against the Belize Police Department. What I need to do now, I think I, I will go to a lawyer. I will sue him. Because this is not a maybe. This, we have to get the proof that this is a murder. They kill my son. And that's what I got to say. I will seek if who can help me to fight this. Because up to the police to tell me that this is a murder. I heard it. I heard it because my son never died just like that. My son, they just killed my son. That's what hurt me. And if I would have found that officer, I don't know what I would do with him. I would make him feel what he, do, he did my son. Reporting for Love News. 
Hippolyta Novello.